When setting the ventilator for a patient with a severe exacerbation of asthma or COPD, consider the following vent settings. Mode assist control. Tidal volume, 8 cc's per kilo of ideal body weight. An FiO2 of 40%, a PEEP of 5, and a respiratory rate of 10. These settings are intended to prevent auto-PEEP, or air trapping due to the failure of airflow to return to zero at the end of expiration. Auto-PEEP causes increased work of breathing, barrel trauma, and hemodynamic instability. One quick method of checking for auto-PEEP is by looking at the expiratory flow graph here. All flow above the x-axis represents inspiratory flow into the patient. Everything below the x-axis represents expiratory flow out of the patient. You want to ensure that this line returns to zero before the next breath is initiated. As you can see here, this expiratory flow line returns to zero before the next breath is triggered by the ventilator. If it does not, you will suspect auto peep. As you can see in this patient, the expiratory flow line does not return to zero before the next breath is triggered by the ventilator. This is indicative of auto peep and is a patient in whom you may want to consider making modifications to their vent settings and or sedation. Auto PEEP is best managed by decreasing the respiratory rate to allow for a longer expiratory phase and optimizing sedation to prevent overbreathing. Paralysis is sometimes required if the patient is overbreathing despite heavy sedation. You'll want to connect the patient to waveform catnography, ask the RT to measure a plateau pressure with a goal of less than 30, titrate the FiO2 to a goal saturation of 99 to 95%, and draw an arterial blood gas about 30 minutes after initiating these settings to further guide your ventilator management.